Hello guys, welcome back to SR Technologies. Today we are going to discuss another interview question. Let's get into that question. So here is the question. If you understand right, write an SQL query to get the output, but do not use the set operators and subquery. Here we have a table one and table two. Table one is having ID and table two also having ID. Both are having same columns. When it comes to here, 136 and Anuradha and Anu Radha Raghu. And when it comes to here, ID name and the data is having 245 ID and Ramesh Shiva Kavi. So these are the columns which are having. So columns as well as data which I read it out. So when it comes to here, right, the output which they are expecting, okay, you have to pass it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, as well as you have to do Anu, Ramesh, Radha, Shiva, Kavi, and Raghu. And when it comes to category, so where whatever the table data, for example, Anu is having table 1, and Radha is having table 1, and Raghu is having table 1. So whichever the data is coming from table 1, that data should be, category should be one, table 1. And whichever the data is coming as table 2, that data should come as a table 2. That is what you can see second row, Ramesh and Shiva and Kavi. So these are the these are the table two is having. So we need to write it up. If you wanted to perform this, it's a very simple what we can do using the set operators we can perform. First, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and see the data which I have already created the script. Okay, for this, I'll go ahead and I'll upload this. I will load this as part of the description. As part of the description, you can take this and you need not to prepare. Just you can look at the data here. Here you can look at the data. Anu, Radha, Raghu. Here Ramesh, Shiva, Kavi. <coughs> so these are the these are the rows. Now, if you wanted to perform, if you wanted to perform this with the union, sorry, union all. Okay, simply we can do union all using the set operators. Using the set operator select. ID, comma, comma, name, comma. What is the what is the column you want? Table one. This is the table one as as category. Okay, as category from from which table? Table one. Table one. And here you can mention that, and you can do union all. You can do union all. And then you can copy paste same thing, same thing. You can copy paste same thing instead of writing it up. Instead of writing up, just you can change the here table two, and as well as here you can change the table two data. Now you can, if you can perform this, okay, you will be able to get that. You'll be able to get that. This is what you are going to get. But on top of it, if you wanted to order the ID, just you can do here. Here you can write it up as just an inline view, just an inline view. Okay. Select star from A, A, order by ID, order by ID. Okay. Ascending to this, ascending to ascending order. Here you can see this is the way you can get this data. This is the union all. So, but what is the question which they have asked? They have asked, do not use the set operators and subquery. Ignore the subquery for time being. Now, we should not use the subquery. We should not use the union all. Union all, I have shown you how to do that. So, now we have to use some other approach. How we can do that? How we can do that? Very simple. Very simple. What we can do? We can use the full outer join. Full outer join. So, we'll go with the step by step. Suppose, select star from, select star from table 1. Okay, table one, full out a join, full out a join, table two, table two. What basis on, on a table one dot ID, okay, table one dot ID equals to table two dot ID, okay, table two dot ID. So here you can see, you can see how the data look like, how the data look like. Now you can see. Wherever the data is coming here, right? Whatever, wherever the data is coming from table one, here you can see this is the one side table one data, other side table two data. Now, when you are having this, right? Instead of this, I want the output how it how it has to be 
it has to be like this. Let me execute both the queries, then we'll see. So this is the output which I'm looking. This is the output which I'm looking. But I'm getting this is the output by using the pull out a join. So simply what we can do, we can go ahead and we can use the collage, collage function. Okay, collage function. C O A L E S C E. Okay, collage. Okay, here I can make it as a A and I can make it as a B instead of entire table name. Here you can use the A dot ID. Here you can use the B dot ID. Okay, A dot ID, comma, B dot ID, B dot ID as ID. Okay, now at the same time, other, other columns also you can use like that. You can use like that. So here, what is the another column? Name. Okay, A dot name as well as B dot name. Okay, here you can keep it as a name. Keep it as a name. Now you wanted to do, you wanted to do what? You wanted to go ahead and populate the category as well. Category as well. How can we perform this? How can we perform this? So very simple. What we can perform, we can go ahead and we can use the case statement. We can use the case statement. In case statement, case statement, whenever, whenever, okay, whenever t dot id is null, t dot id is, is null, okay, then populate the t dot one. So there are two things. Simply what you can do, you can go ahead and if t dot a dot id is not null, then populate, populate the table one, okay, in a simplest way. If b dot id is not null, okay, then populate the populate the table two. Table two. If you perform this automatically, whatever you are looking for, you can easily achieve. So simply case when okay when a dot id is not null. Here here you are checking is not null, which means you are checking if the a dot id is not null, then populate as a table. Table one. Okay, table one. Again, when statement when b dot id is b dot id is not null, then populate table two. Table two. Okay. Else NA. Okay. And as category. Category. So this is the way you can perform. You can perform this. Okay. Simply you can perform this way. So now let's see how it is going to give you the output. Still one more thing which we have to do. What is that? See here the data is coming in a different order. They want it in a order. They want it in a order. If you see, if you see the output one, two, three, four, five, six. So if you wanted to perform that, right? Simply what you can do? Order by, order by, order by ID, order by ID. So you can use this order by ID. Can you see here? Here it is performing one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the way you have to you have to deal this particular question. This, you have to deal this particular question. So let me summarize it. First, what I have done, the query is very simple. The question which they have asked, go here. They have asked. Let me summarize it. Table one you have, table two you have it. Now one, two, one, three, six, two, four, five is there. Now you have to give the output like this. Okay, the ID should be ordered and category according to the table, whatever the table which you have given, right? According to that, you have to pass the value. If the value, if the row is coming from table one, it has to populate as table one. If the row is coming from table two, then you have to populate table two. So this is the output which they are expecting. So to perform that, what are the things which we have used? One is we have used the full auto join. So we can do even using the union all, but it's just very straightforward. That is the reason they don't want to go with the union all. So they wanted to go with the, they wanted to go with the other approach, union all or sub, sub query. We should not use it. So we can use the full auto gen. Then second thing is using the full auto gen along with that, you can use the police function, police, police function. This is a police function. It is going to identify the, it is going to identify, it is going to identify the first non-null value first non-null values non-null values if null value if both are null if both are null then it will populate it will it will populate it will populate null value only null value 
okay in our case when first when we are doing full auto join that time automatically what it is happening wherever the values are there automatically what it is happening opposite table it is populating as null values instead of that what i have done i am using the common columns right a dot id b dot id wherever the first non null value it is identified that particular value i am passing here and same thing with the name also name also so now it is our duty to define other column that is nothing but a derived column category so to do that what we are using we are using the case statement if the value is coming from table 1 by using the a dot id is not null automatically what we are getting if the value is not null automatically we are populating as a table 1 if the value is null we are not populating anything if the b dot id is not null then we are populating table 2 so that is the way that is the way which we are solving this and next thing is we are sorting the data based on the order by clause order by clause this is the way you have to answer this question thank you guys and we are going to start new batch on may 15th if you are planning to join please do join and please do let us know by pinging in whatsapp thank you guys